And uh, we want to check in now with Local 12's Deb Dixon. Uh, Deb has been outside St. Peter in Chains in downtown Cincinnati all morning. She joins us now with more on the mood outside the church. And good afternoon, Deb. Hi, Johnny. Yeah, it was, it was so interesting about this is, and we know there were going to be thousands of firefighters here from all over the country, but there were so many people who took their morning to come down here and all very personal reasons. There's the, the wife of a firefighter whose sons are firefighters. For her, it's her worst fear. There was the young girl I talked to who was in that fire in Madisonville, and she said, you know, he got people out, he saved lives, and she just wanted to be here to show the respect. There were people, there was a, a mother who brought her sons here so they could understand about sacrifice and about um, service. So Cincinnatians really responded. When we talk about the family, uh, it's not just the brotherhood. The family is Cincinnati and Gordon's family will have that family at his side forever. And it was a it was such a beautiful, something so sad, being so beautiful and so precise and so symbolic and so traditional with every single thing that's done is for a reason that sometimes goes back to the 1800s. Uh, the, the, even the, the tolling of the bells is a reminder that, that years ago, that's how firefighters were told that there was a fire, the bagpipes, because the early firefighters were Irish and they had to take on the toughest jobs. So there's so much here in his memory for his last call, John, that I think um, ha touched everybody who was here. Yeah, very, very touching indeed. All right, Deb, thank you so much for that. And the driving procession will carry Daryl Gordon's casket from St. Peter and Chains Church in downtown Cincinnati to Oak Hill Cemetery in Springdale. It will go down Central Parkway and then north on Redding Road. Now, once it's in Roselawn, it will travel east on Seymour, then north on Vine Street, where it becomes Springfield Pike, and then continue north into Springdale. An American flag will hang from fire truck ladders at Sharon and Congress Roads in Glendale. That's where Gordon lived with his family. And the procession will also pass two other fire stations.